Dr. Sella here. I hope you're all doing well. I received the following comment from one of my YouTube subscribers, and this is a question to which I'm rather passionate. Hey, Dr. Sella, the breakdowns are awesome. Appreciate all the hard work. I know you talk a lot about running a concept at least four times a game in order for it to be successful. I was curious if you would do a video breaking down the concepts you would run personally in a high school game. Kirk Anderson. Well, thanks, Kirk, but let's look at the facts. Triple option is the offense. Currently, triple option is 15% of the Georgia Tech Army and Navy 28 off 2018 offense. They average running triple over 10 times a game, so guess what? You better run the triple or you don't have a triple option offense. Zone slash speed option has become the number one constraint off the triple, and it's now run more than triple. It's 18% of Tech, Army, and Navy's 2018 offense, and they're running this at least 12 times a game. Now, today's November 13th, and I can tell you this right now, it's probably going to go up because Georgia Tech has been running it more often. You want to run this when you don't get four yards on the give phase of the triple. And the reason is because if they're letting you hand the ball off, well, then you got to manufacture the pull read, and this is how you do it. You got to run zone option, and if you don't, you're cheating your players, coaches, and the people who support you. Triple pass is by far vitally important to make the offense go. The average completion on triple pass is over 20 yards. This is an explosive play, and all it takes is one more explosive play than your opponent, and you're going to win 86% of the time, and that was based on a massive 2014 quantitative study. Utilize triple pass when the defense forces a pull read because they're sacrificing pass coverage for perimeter run support and or when you need to get a first down because you don't really have a choice because all it takes is a completion and you got yourself an explosive play. As of today, Georgia Tech is averaging 22 yards per completion. This is their number one concept and it's been Paul Johnson's number one concept since 1985. Okay, now after those three concepts, the drop-off is considerably real. High school coaches, my clients in particular, tend to overdose on Rocket. And I like to use the word overdose because a lot of times if you run it too much, you're going to basically overdose your career. Army, Navy, Tech run Rocket just about four times a game. I mean, it's pretty close. However, high school coaches get addicted to the simplicity of the concept and they love to enable their quarterback by taking the play out of his hands. And I've said this before, Rocket is like Oxycontin. It's great to relieve short-term pain when you get your wisdom teeth pulled out, but you're only supposed to do it to relieve short-term pain. Because if you think it's going to relieve your problems every day, well, you're going to get fired. Utilize this when you can't get four yards on zone option. That's usually the best theory because if you can't get four on zone option, it's usually because there's too much first-level penetration. If you're running rocket more than zone option, you're either losing because you're that horrible, really horrible, or your athletes are so much better than everyone else, they just overcame the terrible coaching you gave them. Follow is great when the B gap is open and short yardage goal line out of the heavier double flex formation. If it's not run zone power, that's what Army and Navy are doing in 2018. And you want your quarterback to sneak it if the A gap's open. You'll see Army and Navy doing that far more often now. All right. Zone dive. Oh, it's great if the defense forces a pull read. However, if you're pulling and pitching, you're probably winning the game because you're making the defense react to you. The thing is, zone dive is run so much by Army, Navy, Tech, I have to tell you that, it, that you have to run it. But you want to run it when they force a pull rate because if you can't get four yards when they force you to give the ball, how do you expect to get more yards when you force it? You're not, barring an act of God. Okay, the double flex formation. Look, in modern times, compressed formations are being run more than spread formations. You want to go with it because it helps you get the ball in the perimeter because you can pin the C-gap player and get the ball outside. You build a wall, and you make the defense pay for it. 
So you want to make sure that you do that. You want to be based on a double flex and, and not spread. Definitely, the way that's the way things are in 2018. And I know it's you see a lot of spread from Army Navy Tech, but in nut cun time, they're running double flex and they're running heavy. Now, I get a lot of questions about the trap. Guys, it's a coin flip. Okay, the great benefit of it is if they let you hand the ball off and you can't get four yards, you trap number one, and now you get a different angle with the B back. So it's good like that, but they're just not running it enough. Army, Navy, and Tech don't run it four times a game. It's two to three times a game right now. Uh, and you're going to get more yards on the zone option because, quite frankly, it's probably the best concept that's come out of the offense since – when the midline hit its popularity in the early 2000s. And, oh, let's talk about that midline. <sighs> Coaches love it because it's a simple two-way option, and you're talking to somebody who's run it since the 90s. Nobody else was running it, and we were running it when I was coaching high school ball in New Jersey. And at the time, nobody knew what to do. But here's the thing, and after 20-plus years of doing it, the only way you're going to make it work is if you get a three technique and a backside action key because then you have an A-gap void and you can get it going. Because if you don't, you better have better players. Navy in 2016 ran a ton of midline because their center could base a zero technique. In 2018, they can't double-team anybody. They're, they're struggling. They're on, the, they're on the struggle bus big time. If you're going to run midline, run midline lead. It's run more than any other variation, and you get the extra number at the point of attack, and it's had the most yards per play of any midline concept in the offense. So in conclusion, if I had to coach high school football, I'd run the following. I'd run the triple. If I got four yards on it, I'd run it again. If I didn't, I would run the zone option. If they forced me to hand the ball off, I'd run zone option. If I was so scared about penetration that we couldn't even get the zone option off, I'd toss the ball outside. Now, triple pass, you run it basically if they're forcing a pull read and they're forcing you to pitch the ball because they're going to bring the safety down, you're going to throw where he's not and get an explosive play and hopefully six points. So you got to run that. Um I would tag off the zone option with zone power, zone power lead. You can find articles all over the site about all those. Zone dive, honestly, I've learned that if they're forcing you to pull pitch, you're pretty much winning. But I have to advocate running it because of the frequency of how Army, Navy, and Tech run it. So here's your menu. Triple zone option, rocket, triple pass with the vert and Titan concepts. Heavy package for short yardage goal line where you'd sneak it if they void the A-gap. You run follow if they void the B-gap. And if there's no void, you run zone power. That's what Army and Navy are doing in 2018. Zone dive, if they force a pull read, you block number one with either the tackle or the A-back, depending on where he goes, and you hand the ball off because they're gonna you're going to run the ball where the mic isn't. That's all I would run. Uh, I, I even debate zone dive to a point, but it's hard for me to sell that one. I told a client of mine about Rocket earlier in the season that it's be even Rocket's becoming debatable. But, yeah, it's kind of like telling a guy who's obsessed with a girl to stop obsessing over a girl. That's what it's like to tell a coach to stop running Rocket. You can tell a guy as much as he wants to stop obsessing over a girl. He's not going to stop obsessing over the girl until he gets rejected so many times that he's so beaten down that he finally quits and moves on with his life. Or he just finds another girl, either way. So that's what I would do if I were a high school coach. I'm not. I don't know. Maybe someday I will be. But right now I'm your sports psychologist and helping you install this offense the right way the first time. And if you're looking to become a client, give me a call, 570-332-0265, 570-332-0265. We stick to the facts. You're going to learn what they're doing, Army, Navy, Tech are doing right now in 2018, and you're going to run that offense in 2019. We'll talk soon. Thanks for listening.